Hello, it's me. I'm Nafid. Um, in this video, we will be talking about uh, zero touch provisioning for the uh, Aruba OS uh, switches. Basically, I'm going to show you this switch is factory defaulted, so it has no config and it will be connected to the LAN where the DHCP service is available. Now, um, obviously when the switch comes as a factory default, all ports are members of VLAN 1 and they are DHCP candidate. So what will happen, VLAN 1 will become an IP address um, from a DHCP server based on the configuration of the network that will eventually be in VLAN 10. Uh, that doesn't matter. It will be able then to communicate with the internet and then it will pick up settings from Aruba Central. We'll uh, pre-provision the switch in Aruba Central group and we will create uh, a template-based group uh, that will push all settings to, uh, to the switch. Now the condition for that obviously, the, the switch should be uh, in the inventory list in HPE GreenLake um, and assign a license and then it will be listed as part of the uh, devices in your Aruba Central. Uh, we can, if you would like, pre-provision the switch, meaning we can add the switch even before the switch becomes available online uh, to Aruba Central. So let's have a look and um, see what are the steps that we need to follow. So this switch is factory defaulted and the behavior they will ask you to set a, a username and password. We go for simple ones. So we're going to go for admin, password admin. So the switch is factory defaulted. Now that switch has no VLAN. So again, remember this is zero touch provisioning. We don't touch it. That's what it means. So you plug it, it works. Now this should be uh, picking up default VLAN 1, picking up an IP based on um, DHCP. So show IP, you can see the VLAN, the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1, should pick up an IP from a DHCP boot P. Now what I would like to do is to make sure the port that connects to this switch is um, enabled. So it is port number 7. So I'll show interface brief. you notice interface number 7 is down. And this is the link to, to the uh, network infrastructure. So it is here. Um, interface 1 enabled. So now we have enabled that interface and in a few minutes, so less than a minute, it should become an IP address. We should see the port status has changed from down to up. The top one was down and this is now up. So in a few seconds it will become an IP. If we check now we should see there's an IP address. Let's see. Show system, double check the MAC address for this. Yeah. So it has picked up an IP as you can clearly see now and uh, we should be able to reach the internet google.com say um, so because we have DNS we have the domain suffix and all details have been assigned to that switch show IP again remember that now the switch uh, is able to reach the internet. Now what we need to now going back to um, to Central. So HP Green Lake, that switch has um, been assigned a license and if we filter, we could filter based on many things but I just filtered based um, on the model which is this switch. Now the switch is this one, and um, that's the serial number, and that's the MAC address, we can show it to you, show system. That's the serial number, and that's the MAC address, matches here, 
it has um, all required licenses and all that stuff so it is uh, the license uh, we can just go back to home now we know the switch has a license we go back to uh, home so in the global we click on devices and we look at the switch we have two access point up is not focusing we are not focusing on that and on the switch you notice there's one switch which is this switch that we are looking at uh, if we click on that switch again that's the MAC address of the switch model obviously path number and then the serial number of that switch so we know the switch is visible now now what we need to do is to map the switch to a group so in this case we will create uh, a template uh, basic group so we would go to organization now the switch as you could see it so if i click on the groups you will notice there are four connected one on provision device and so on um, the unprovisioned device is the gateway again remember for connected this switch which is this one it belongs to nowhere so what we need to do we create a template uh, base group and that template base group then we will map the switch to that specific group to do this uh, simply of course we can see there are some APs and uh, in the default you'll find the switch is being mapped to the default. The reason they've done this because the switch is factory defaulted so automatically it will be mapped to the group. Now that doesn't concern us because the switch is still there and by default it will be mapped to a default group if the device has no pre-configuration on it and the same it's the case for our switch. The switch has no pre-configuration whatsoever if you issue a command show run there's nothing basically so these are built in and there's nothing really we have done on that switch we have not even issued the command config so we go here and we add a group and this is called switch template okay and we would like to make it only for switches and we're going to make a template and we go next in this case it doesn't matter we can make it for our boys only because we are only focusing on this and uh, we're gonna add the group now <clears throat> the group has been added the zero devices in the group this is template basic group so if you move the switch to this template basic group nothing will happen because you have to create the template what I've done, I create a template based um, on a previous configuration, but you can create a template from scratch. Um, I'm going to show you the template I have created um, in this case. So that's a template. And once we push the template to the group where the switch will be mapped to, the settings in the template will override settings on the device so what we uh, will be doing right now i uh, will just move the device you do it either way so if you define the template beforehand and your aim is to deploy or have mass deployment for so many switches in different locations and uh, you can predefine template if you would like and uh, or in this case we're going to just show you how to move the switch it's an OS template basic group and you can see we're going to move the switch to that template nothing again will happen as yet now what we need to do that's the group the switch has been moved to that group as TG means template we would need to configure that group so we go here In here, notice there is no template, so we're going to do plus and um, just we'll give it a name, switch. Any name will work, but because we only have one template, we can have multiple templates. We can have uh, with Aruba switch because the group is only Aruba Square OS, and you can have different models. So in our case, we are 2930. Again, doesn't really matter. 
you can make it more specific but again it doesn't really matter because we only have one switch our switch is simply um, this model we can select it if you like so this template now is only applicable to a rubber switch with this model with this part number and you could even specify furthermore go next the group is there and as we said uh, we have the template that has been created here I would like to just copy this and paste it here now the template has been created with all necessary commands and we're going to say save it's like command line but of course there are some certain parameters that have been converted to a variable so now that's a template and you can clearly see when it was created now in each template there will be variables and we call this one variable so these are the values for the variables that we have included in the template right and that should be pushed to the switch in a few minutes and it's best to look into what's going on the status of the switch configuration audit After a few minutes, if uh, sometimes you need to refresh this page, so um, refresh this page. Now we can see the switch has been pushed, i.e. the template has pushed, uh, has been pushed to the switch. There are no issues, config and sync, and the switch has been updated with a new configuration here. We can see that's the switch. If you, if you show run, you can see the running config of that switch has been updated as per the settings uh, of the template. And this is just to demonstrate how easy it is to configure the switch to backup settings and this is what's called zero touch provisioning.